This next video is for adult toy collectors, and I'm not just saying that for whatever COPPA disclaimer reasons. Only you are going to actually understand what the hell I'm talking about. So let's roll with this. Mike plays with toys. This little figure I got right here is a 1985 Imperial Godzilla action figure. He's about, what, six inches tall? And, uh, yeah, back in the day, before, like now you can buy a hundred different versions of Godzilla figures. In the 80s, this is all you got. This, and he came in a, like three different sizes. This is the small size, then a bigger size, and then a bigger size bigger than that. That was all we had, and before that, there was just like that Mattel Shogun Warriors Godzilla figure. We weren't oversaturated with stuff. This is all we got back in the day. And uh, here's your little size comparison. Larry Zabisco getting another cameo. So, once Larry Zabisco was done fighting He-Man, Masters of the Universe, he could fight Godzilla. Because he could take him. He's Larry Legend. He beat Bruno San Martino. But I digress. We're going right back to Godzilla. This is based on the movie Godzilla 1985. Here's the DVD of him, right there next to him. The DVD called the Godzilla 1984. That's the year it came out in Japan. Or the Return of Godzilla. But, uh, yeah, this is like the only Godzilla toy of the 80s. It was made by Imperial. All you kids back in the day, elementary school, when you had like little dinosaur toys, little rubber ones, I'll, I'll, I'll cut to a little picture. Yeah, those dinosaur toys. Uh, these, that was the same company who made this guy. And he was articulated, he's got arms and legs that moved. His tail moved around too. He was fun. And the paint scheme on him wasn't that good, but... It's all we had back in the day, and we loved it. We didn't care. Actually, he is super detailed. If he had like a good custom paint job on him, I ain't gonna ruin him to do that, and I, I ain't that talented to do that stuff anyway. But I think the sculpt on him is pretty damn good. Mine's a little dusty. He's been sitting on my dresser for a long time. I always kept this figure displayed for the past, oh, 30 years, no matter where I'm living. Because he's fun and I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I don't have every single movie, but I've got two-thirds of all the movies on DVD. But my point is, just about any pop culture phenomenon, character, whatever, there's not just one figure of them, there's a million figures of them. You get US release, you get import releases, you get knockoff import releases of anything. You know, there's probably like three Superman figures that came out in all of the 1980s. Now you can get 30 different kind. That's what I'm saying, like... We were appreciative of whatever figure we got, no matter how undetailed or badly painted it was. This is what we got, and this is what we were happy with. And that was, that's what makes it a classic. This is what we like. I know there's better Godzilla figures out there now, but this is this has got the, uh, the sentimental value, the appeal. That's what we like this stuff for. Us kicking it old school. Look at this. He can eat a muscles figure. Ooh, ee, ooh. That's my Godzilla uh, noise. Ee, ooh. He can hold a candy cane in his hands. He can hold a holiday edition Hershey's Kiss in his hand too. It's good stuff. Basically, if you're a Godzilla fan and you don't have this classic in your collection, sorry, you don't know your stuff, bro. This is the one to have. I don't think they go for much on eBay. You can probably pick one up for probably like 10 bucks, 15 bucks at worst. There were millions of these hanging around in toy stores for years. You know, you can show all your friends your Godzilla collection, show them whatever new figure just came out. They're like, ooh, that's cool. But if you want to show them you really know what you're talking about and you got some class and you're like a real hardcore collector, this is the dude you get. Godzilla 1985. That's all we had back in the day. This was the definitive Godzilla of the 80s toys.